Hey guys, it's Kim here. Chances are, if you're watching this video, acne is sort of ruining your life the way it has been for me. Growing up from like middle school and high school, I actually had like so much acne. I'm like a side sleeper, so I, if I wanted to sleep, it would hurt because my acne would always be like around my jaw and my chin. For like birthdays and Christmas, my family would ask me like, oh, would you like a new acne kit for your birthday? And I'd be like, no, I want real teenager presents like clothes and shoes. I was kind of reminded by everyone I knew to like wash my face. I did wash my face. I did take care of my face. I did everything I could to, for my face, but like obviously the results did not show on my face like whatsoever. Right now I don't have acne because of all these different things I've been doing, but here's a before photo of my acne. And here's just like my face now. Obviously it's all clear and pretty, so results. I know everyone has different skin types and there are probably different ways for them to get rid of the acne, but I thought I'd share my thoughts on how I get rid of my acne specifically. But I hope one of these steps will end up helping you out even if it's just a little bit. Just letting you guys know right now that this video is sponsored by Neutralize. If you're interested in their product, be sure to check the links down below. Step one is to use the right products. I've used about everything that you could possibly get from Rite Aid or any drugstore store. And for some reason, all of them tended to dry out my skin. I ended up making my face feel more painful or like dried out my skin to the point that it ended up hurting and kind of worsening my acne. I'm not sure if my skin was too sensitive or what, but I've been using Neutralize. It's an acne kit that comes with like face wash and a clearing serum and a synergizer. This is basically what you wash on your entire face and you wash these on specifically on the areas where your acne is. For this product, I noticed results in maybe only a few days. The acne would like get smaller in like one to two days and they kind of went away in a week for me. These do not dry out my skin and they're really effective against acne. And again, if you're interested, the links will be down below for Neutralize. Step two, ignore all home remedies that you find on the internet, Google, whatever. I've tried most of them. Anything like add lemon and baking soda to your face, please do not do that. Baking soda is so harsh, like it's not meant for your face. I did that and my face was just like flaky and gross and painful. Just stick to products that you could actually buy from the store. Number three, get enough sleep. Um, I tend to like pull all-nighters pretty often and when I do, I notice that my acne starts coming back like little at a time whenever I do that. So definitely always sleep the amount of hours you're supposed to be sleeping. When I started sleeping normally, and waking up in the morning, going to bed at night like a normal person, my, I noticed that my skin was just like, it just felt good. <laughs> Number four, hydrate and drink lots of water so you can moisturize and cleanse your skin cells. Step Five, always remove all of your makeup every night. Sometimes when I come home, I'm kind of lazy to like wash my face and I'm just like laying there in my bed. What I do is I leave like a packet of face wipes by my bed. So when I'm like half asleep on my bed, I could just like cl clean up my face a little with the wipes that are on my table. What I also re recommend is using face masks every other week and maybe a clay mask. The clay mask, I'm not holding right now because I don't know where I put it. I use clay mask on days I feel like I need to open up my pores more and exfoliate. And on days that my face feels like it needs a little pick-me-up and it feels a little dull, I use sheet mask. Sheet mask has like all these nutrients and good stuff for your face depending on what kind of face mask you get. This one's a collagen essence mask and the ingredients are basically in like Korean or something so I can't read this. <laughs> oh wait, they have English. Vitamin E and collagen. And these really help me like kind of just relax and fall asleep. Number six, sounds a little weird. Number six is pretty effective. I use this when I have like the huge, huge pimples and I just have like nothing at home to put on it, I guess. I grab just like a piece of ice and I wrap it in the napkin and I just like kind of numb the acne with it and I notice that the acne actually decreases in size and it's less painful. Okay, step seven. I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys this, but you should exfoliate your face. And this is what I use to exfoliate my face for the past um, couple of years. They're kind of, it's kind of cracked because it fell a couple times in my bathtub 
and this is actually probably meant for like your body and not meant for your face and I'm probably going to have to replace this and I know there's like some fancy face brush scissors that are worth like $300 from Sephora but I got this brush for like $5 from Ross. Well, actually my mom got it and I stole it from her. And I noticed there was a big difference when I used this on my face. I just kind of gently massage this into my face in circular motion with like some cleanser, of course, on it or on my face. And I just wash my face with it. Doing that helps like all the moisturizer and stuff I put into it go into my skin and actually work. And after exfoliating, it's really important that you always, always moisturize. Like before in the past, I would skip this step because moisturizers were like a little bit expensive and I was like in high school and I didn't even wear makeup. So <laughs> I also thought that since my skin was so oily, how am I going to put more moisturizer and stuff to make it even more oily? You should always put moisturizer on your face no matter what. <laughs> also that brings me to step 9 which is determine your skin type. Um, growing up, I always assumed my skin type was oily because my face was like gross, oily, and acne all the time. But it turns out my skin type was dry and I wasn't moisturizing, I wasn't exfoliating. I needed to exfoliate so all the products I was using on my face would be able to be effective and be able to use because like right now, before exfoliation, your face is like some crazy barrier against all these products. And you may notice like when you're putting on your moisturizer, it's just like sliding all off and you feel oily afterwards. That's because you're not exfoliating. Also, I think my face is dry because it was just so dry to the point it was producing all these oily stuff. Number 10 is something that I don't really want to recommend to people, but it was really effective for me. It's an acne extraction. Okay, when I did this acne extraction, I was pretty desperate. There was like three acnes on my chin and they were like clumped together. It just became like this huge boss monster of an acne. So what an acne extraction is, is when you go to an actual salon and you have people with like this x-ray thingy and a scalpel and they're just physically digging out all the acne on your face. This took about two sessions for me and each session was about four hours straight. Entire four hours straight, I would be crying the entire time because it was so painful. Um, yeah, so it was effective. Like I noticed a big difference in my acne. My acne wasn't like as big and it wasn't big in numbers anymore. I don't recommend it for people that are extremely sensitive to pain. I'm extremely sensitive to the pain, I did it, but I, I kind of just don't wish pain on others. <laughs> I did notice a big difference in my acne afterwards and the years afterwards, but would I do it again? No. <laughs> was it worth it? Yes, it was worth it because my acne isn't as bad as they were from high school. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any other tips on ways that you may have gotten rid of your acne, be sure to comment down below. And if you're interested in the products for Neutralize, check out the links down below. And bye!